Maybe I'm a little biased because I'm playing the character, but I think he's the, yeah, I think he's the sort of emotional heart of the film because he, because not, well, not only is there the emotional arc that Tyson goes through, but Tyson's presence is directly connected to Percy's emotional journey. Percy's emotional journey is coming to terms with his relationship with his father uh, and his relationship with his brother, and it's all connected. In the first one, a lot of it is Percy being introduced to the world and figuring out what he is, whereas this one, from the very first moment, he already knows where he is, who he is, and it's just action from the very beginning. We have bulls attacking the camp right at the very beginning. We have a cyclops showing up, me. And then, you know, and then next thing we know, it's okay, our barrier is gonna go down because it's being poisoned. The tree that protects our camp is poisoned and we need to, we don't have to journey to Las Vegas. We don't have to journey to, you know, New York City or Los Angeles like in the first one. You know, we have to go across the sea of monsters.